WGHP Fox 8 is reporting that numerous officials are speaking out over legislation that could tie Medicaid expansion to the addition of new casinos in North Carolina. On Monday, September the 18th, the North Carolina Senate Democratic Caucus released a letter reacting to the newly proposed legislation that removes both casinos and Medicaid expansion from the main state budget, which remains unpassed. It puts both in a separate bill, making the priority issue of Medicaid expansion dependent upon casinos. Now, the bill includes one casino on Lumbee tribal land, as well as three non-tribal casinos. House Speaker Tim Moore has said the other three casinos are expected to go to Rockingham County, Anson County, and Nash County. But those counties were not specifically named in the legislation. Some Rockingham County residents, including Sheriff Sam Page, have been vocal against the proposed location of the casino, which is near Madison, saying they believe it to be too close to Camp Carefree. Fox 8 is reporting that North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to call the proposals brutally dishonest. The Democrats take issue with Medicaid being linked to the casino bills, stating that the Republicans have lost significant support within their own caucuses and constituents for casinos as the budget has stalled. Now, the letter states, quote, it's straining the imagination to conjure a scenario where 11 million people would be held hostage for the bidding of a Maryland casino developer. But that's where we are today, unquote. State Representative Jason Sane, a Republican from Lincoln County, who is the top budget writer in the House, told CBS 17 that votes for the budget and the combined Medicaid casino bill would take place on Wednesday and Thursday, the 20th and the 21st. More details about the controversy can be found on the WGHP Fox 8 website, and you can find it by going to myfox8.com.